Hey there, good people. Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How's it going? Today I'll be doing a different kind of uh, list. Uh, I believe this list hasn't been done. Uh, at least I haven't seen uh, this kind of list in the YouTube uh, community. But if there is, I do apologize. But this idea came from one of my subscribers and I'm really sorry. I forgot to take note. I definitely saw that comment and the credit goes to him. So the brother who asked me to do this list, thank you so much. Please let others know in the comment section or in our group uh, who you are. Okay. That's the first thing. Second thing is this uh, list is initially I thought I would do just top 10 because I had about 9 to 10. But uh, dear brother, Dr. Jeffrey, he lent me some of his perfumes when he heard that I'm doing this video. He lent me some of his bottles. So it's going to be a combination of his and my bottles. Another thing is they're going to be designer niche. Okay. The way I uh, like separated them, uh, even though they're the same video, I'm going to show you the niche one first. There are six and I'll show you my top 14 designer cologne style perfumes you will see some fragrances like names would be like uh, perfume cologne okay or maybe colonia but they all are the same to me cologne style okay so let me show you quickly six niche ones then i'll show you my favorite designer ones based on ranking okay otherwise it will be like not fair you know i don't want to mix them up okay uh, so first niche one i'm going to show you it's uh, from house of aqua di parma niche house it's aqua di parma colonia okay and trust me there are thousands tons more out there which i don't have i'm showing you the ones that i have at this moment the many fragrance i don't own okay so what what about the essenza colonia i mean colonia essenza it smells fantastic it's very very beautiful it smells uh, kind of like many other fragrances fresh fragrance out there but check out my review i have reviewed all of them so number six in the design niche house niche line colonia essenza by aquari parma first uh, niche Second niche, I'm going to show you the same house. Uh, this is Colonia Intensa. This is a little bit better than the other one, in my humble opinion. It's a lot more zesty. It's really, really nice. It has a sweetness of uh, orange blossom nearly. And it has some lemon and then some fruity touch to it. But I don't remember exactly all the notes. But this is exactly like kind of fragrance you want to wear in high heat. So number five is Aqua di Parma. This is Colonia Intensa. These are all doctor's bottles. Okay. Uh, third one I'm going to show you is that Nishane Colonies. You can see Nishane Colonies, you can try Nishane Sapran Colonies, both are kind of like cologne name is there. But I would do, I just saw Sebastian Zara yesterday, he did the review already. But I would still do the comparison between between the Colonies and Sapran Colonies. So that's my next one from the house of Nishane. Uh, number five, I'm going to show you, I think, yeah, number, sorry, number four, I'm going to show you is Rojara Bellissium, okay, Parfum Cologne. This is fantastic, fresh and one of the best bergamo apple kind of combination people compare this with aventus but it's the same ballpark but it's a different fragrance it's a beautiful little creation if you can afford it definitely buy it it's the most affordable rojadav and it's still very very good so this is elysium or elysium next one i'm going to show you is my favorite and this is called enigma uh, i just want to let you know one thing like from this line there are five scandal and i think uh was the other one there few more but i like the vetiver one a lot too if i had the vetiver i would show you but enigma is a creation e enigma it's a fantastic fragrance you can get the edp extract whatever version this is like winter baby real love it's a cola smell it got that boozy vibe it has that tobacco one of the most unique creations out there with very very good performance okay that's my little, uh, second last one but the number one uh, according to me if you really talk about cologne style perfumes this is in the niche so far i tried on the best ones this is uh creed at its best okay you guys know this is creed's uh, aventus cologne i have some juice left quite significant amount i wear this whenever i feel i'm in the mood for it got the beautiful apple note lemon note sometimes it feels like pineapple but there's no pineapple in this enlisted i guess and there is just so much fruitiness so much citrusness citrusiness and just nice birch fresh clean uh fruity citrusy woody so number one today niche one is aventus cologne okay so those are out of the way. Uh, so if we focus on the 14, I wish I had 15, so I could have done like a 15 designer uh, cologne style fragrance, but it's okay. So these are all going to be according to my liking. You can feel differently about them. Don't bash me too much, but try them all. They're all nice. Okay. First one, number 14, it's going to be Dior, Eau Sauvage Cologne. This is my least favorite from this whole collection or line. The reason being, I had this perfume i sold it off because they're on the dry down it gets a little bit like uh, i would say bitter you know like uh, not really uh, the most uh, natural citrus only like the original or the parfum this one gets really really bitter on the dry down i don't know if it's the vetiver that takes over or something in it it's just uh, the citrus become bitter so it's kind of like a lemon pledge or lemon skin rather than a lemon uh, 
pulp. Okay, so that's my number 40, Eau Sauvage Cologne. But it's a good fragrance with good lasting power and it has this beautiful magnetic top. Next one again, Dior. And you'll be surprised why these Dior's are so low in the order. I'll tell you, they are expensive. And uh, first one was bitter. Second one is this one, Fahrenheit Cologne. Uh, this basically replaced my favorite aqua fahrenheit basically uh, this is discounting hard to find but they replaced it with this one you can find the fahrenheit cologne but the cologne has really terrible performance on me and i feel it's very watered down and uh it's just like uh everything is just every single note is watered down it made like kind of like transparent this kind of watery vibe it literally feels like it should be half the price it's going for you know and uh it has the vibes of aventus but you can get Ferrari Wumo, it has better performance than this, okay? But it's a nice fragrance, but I like Aqua Fahrenheit by far. So this is number 13, uh, Fahrenheit Cologne. Number 12, uh, here we go. Uh, these are the good stuff. I mean, these are from now on, I like all of them, okay? Next one, uh, 12 is 4711 Cologne by, I don't know, I can't say this house name. Uh, oh my God, anyway, never mind. 4711 Cologne from the original from Germany, I think, yeah? So this, I have still a little bit left. This is a small bottle of 100 ml. Why am I calling this small? Because you can buy up to 500 ml of massive bottles of these. These are splash, can be had for sprayer. Very, very affordable. And it's actually inspiration behind Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. That's the main reason. You can even get Ferrari's Bright Neroli. They all smell fantastic, but something about this perfume, it's really natural. Just the sad part is, longevity is very, very terrible. Uh, half an hour, <laughs> it's totally gone. But some people get good performance, but I usually get like half an hour at most. 4711 Cologne. I'm going by the smell. So number 11, <clears throat> then we get top 10. Okay, number 11 I think is, and discontinued fragrance once again. This is very nice. This is a very nice perfume, but I actually prefer the next ones over this, even though this has very good performance. Especially like, I think from now on, the next ones, none of them perform better than this one. This is the best performer in this whole line. This is 1 million uh, cologne by Pakuraban. This has that only bottle that you can take off the cap. And it does smell very different. It smells really nice, that rose, that watery rose, citruses, sweetness. Uh, the performance is just so good. It's as good as the one million. This definitely is an underrated fragrance. It's a dark horse, okay? Really, really good for summer and spring. Try it out, it can be unisex. So next one, uh, I think uh, number 10, okay? Yeah, number 10, it's gonna be a fragrance. I have a similar fragrance up there in the top five, but I like this a lot too. It's very similar to that. This is Mercedes-Benz Cologne. Now it's becoming tough and uh, rare to find, but I enjoy this fragrance a lot. This is basically a clone of Dior Homme Cologne, but I prefer that one by far. But if you are on a budget and you want something similar, 120, 25 mil, I guess, you get from this amazing looking bottle, beautiful, refreshing, blue and green. Really nice, fresh. It's a little bit uh, less tart, more sweet compared to the Dior. But you can also get Jimmy Choo uh, Man Ice, similar or some of the Zara ones, but Mercedes-Benz Cologne, if you can get it for a good deal, get it. Good fragrance with very solid performance. Next one, I think uh, number nine, it's a fragrance. Uh, most probably many people do not like or understand the line, but I really like it because I know it since the beginning. This Armani Code Colonia. Okay, here goes the Colonia name. This fragrance, it's very underrated, very underrated. First time I tried it, I really, really loved it. This bottle belongs to Jeffrey Bay again. But the fragrance, basically the Armani Code, it's kind of like a lavender, kind of like a sweet, tonka, heavy uh, uh, tobacco. This one, what they did, they made it like transparent, like this blue, summery. And some people say they don't get the best performance. It's not the beast mode performer, but it's a very nice smelling, four to five hours goodness, okay? So try out Armani Code Colonia. Very nice, underrated gem. No one talks about it, okay? After that, we're going to go with a big fragrance. Some of you will be upset why this is not in top five. It definitely can be in top five. Uh, there is a fragrance in Creed which smells like this and that is called Original Vetiver but this is the designer version. Mugler Cologne, okay, or Come With Me or something, Come Together, something like that. The new version. These ones, um, if you are not into fragrances, you know, you don't like Thierry Mugler sweetness, darkness or patchouli heavy perfumes, you can start with this. This is entirely different. You can try the new Rainbow Collection but this is the best so far I tried. And the best thing about Mugler, the soapy vibe, you know, it's like a Irish spring, rainy day, very fresh thing in the morning, like Neroli, uh, citrus, you know, all goodness. This is one of the best fragrances your uh, summer collection 
can have okay so mugler column definitely is here but i prefer the next ones a little bit more they're a little bit more creative this can get very simple but very elegant okay mugler cologne after that we're gonna go with the fragrance it's discontinued hard to find if you are in bangladesh uh, if you are smart you would actually pick up this bottle because they can be had sometimes at places like uh, best in brands outlets like unimart yellow but getting very rare and they are very pricey overseas no one can find these okay this is kenzo power cologne i definitely sang like very high praises you know i did say this is uh, one of the best smelling perfumes with beast mode performance i don't know how they did it okay but the kenzo it's different i get it. it's relaxing tea note it's kind of like a zen place it's totally unique it's one of the most unique fragrance in this lineup okay uh, if you want to know one of the most underrated in this line maybe this is the most underrated okay uh, if you know <laughs> like how rare these are these are and if you're a really nice uh, like a real frag head you would get a bottle of it but it's a small bottle you see how much this one you can appreciate in a high heat situation even springtime you can wear it kenzo power cologne check out my review i'll write down the names okay Next one uh, is a fragrance uh, after this, I think will go uh, top five, okay? This is a fragrance I definitely can respect. I really enjoy, it's unique. Doesn't have so much of sweetness, citrusness, citrusiness, but definitely it's a mint heaven, okay? And the mint and kind of like a little bit uh, on the mature side. It has, uh, the fragrance definitely doesn't smell like anything else out there, okay? So this is Gucci Guilty Cologne. I don't know if Alberto Morias made this, trust me, if I want to wear something, let me just make it my, you know, scent of the video. Okay. So this fragrance, when I smell it, it definitely has that minty vibe, cooling vibe, and does give you that cooling vibe, you know, like on um, the summer's time, it's mature, cooling, and kind of like a bohemian feel. So if you do love mint, and check out my review on this one, how I, how I described it, I think this is a fragrance you should definitely try. Gucci is one of the best creation. I'll do a Gucci house talk soon, but this is Gucci Guilty cologne i definitely am very happy i have this okay big bottle as well so now top five what are the top five the best ones from the cologne line okay uh let's try because i bought few recent times i'll show you this one of them this is cartier declaration cologne okay look at the juice color once again frosted class check out my review this definitely it is going to remind you of the original uh declaration but fun fact very hard to find super rare uh, discontinued long time back it definitely uh, on the up top it gives you nice sort of lemon if you do love durum spore durum cologne you can try it it's that style but dry down is gonna follow the original woody spicy but not as uh, strong but very good for a cologne uh, name and it's edt concentration okay so declaration cologne it's uh, again summer bliss try it out from the house of cartier okay next one i have sort of like a tie and many of you are not gonna like this entry because this one perhaps deserved the top spot number one spot uh, both these fragrances are so underrated i love them equally they're so close and the name is almost same i don't know why they released these two but one is called cologne other one is called cologne sport okay so i don't know let me show you <laughs> these are doctor's bottle okay bottles okay this is chanel elion line okay as you can tell chanel elion sport cologne this is the left one small bottle the big bottle reads Elyorum Sport, Cologne Sport. Okay, so you can see the name differences. So one is called Elyorum Sport Cologne, other one is called Elyorum Sport, Cologne Sport. Okay, so perhaps identically, they're supposedly, theoretically, they're supposed to be the same perfume, but there are minute differences. And I'm going to do some reviews of comparison uh, between, let's say, these two, Saffron Colonies, uh, one of the Guerlain's, which is coming up. I will do some comparison video for you to understand better. So these two are fantastic, citrus based uh expensive very very expensive very hard to find nowadays but if you have these if performance is not your first category some people get excellent longevity but on me after two hours they're very very muted but uh, i cannot deny the fact that quality of these perfumes are so good only reason they are at number let's say four or number yeah number four is the price tag okay uh, i cannot justify the price tag versus the performance otherwise the smell they are both 10 amazing high class posh perfumes chanel allium sport cologne and allium sport uh cologne sport okay that's number four joint entry so number three number two number one these three are all special uh number three perhaps you will argue this also doesn't last long why this is number three smell okay i prefer this over the chanel this is dior cologne 
no matter what people tell you it doesn't project it's very soft it has this simplistic you know white florals with that uh, lemonade icy lemonade but trust me when you smell it it's by far the best lemon based perfume you know it's way better than mercedes way better than jimmy shoe and the bottles are just lovely dior is dior you cannot deny that but the perfume is just something about it it's just so cooling it's like iced you know iced lemonade literally the most natural lemon with that white florals and musk uh, this is highly recommended by me you should definitely get this before it becomes rare dior Homme, cologne number three oh <laughs> dior's are gone chanel's are gone what could be number two and number one yeah this is the battle this is the battle and uh, i am very happy these two made my top two okay i'm so happy because i'm not going by house i'm not going by price tag i'm not going by prestige i'm going by the smell so number two is a discontinued perfume now it's super rare to find super rare and i will suggest to you an alternative to this very soon i'll compare these two in a separate video this house of galan i had this bottle i don't know like that time i was more into more louder fragrances but that's why i sold it off after a while it became discontinued and disappeared from the market now these are picking up 80 100 dollars per uh, 100 ml small products are costing you like 70 dollars Guerlain Loam Ideal Cologne. If you have this perfume, hang on to this. If you can find a couple more, buy backup bottles because this is so good. This is so good. This is so citrusy, so almany, so nutty. Ah, man, that every time you take, inhale this from the atomizer. This also belongs to Jeffrey Bay. I don't have this anymore. The white bottle. Just, I wish I had this bottle, man. Just so classy, so elegant. And it has these beautiful bottles, okay? This fragrance will not last you all day. Like John Verbito's Artisan Pure. This, these are kind of fragrance you enjoy for a brief period. They give you this classy sort of a vibe. You know, the smell is just posh. Uh, for me, I get about four hours from this longevity and uh, half an hour of projection. But the smell, the composition wise, this is one of the best perfumes uh, Guerlain ever produced. You know, from the whole line, this is really good. But here is a better deal, which I'm going to compare these two. If you can find these, you are not far off from that. You can get the cool version, which is available in the market in its original form. It has this nice sort of mint. At first, I didn't think much of it. I will compare these two, okay? If you can find this, you can get it for a fraction of a price. And this is very, very close, okay? Low medial cool, okay? That's an alternative. But the entry today is low medial clone. And that leads me to number one. What else can you get if you cannot get the Guerlain? Uh, you cannot get exactly the same, but you can get something better. When I say better, better in terms of performance, better in terms of smell and uh, interesting as well as available. That's the best thing, okay? And the price tag is very, very good. This is number one winner today. I did tell Dr. Jeffrey that I'm gonna, might make this number one. It can beat rest of them. Why? Because it smells that good, okay? Am I saying go and buy this? Yes, go and buy this perfume. If you trust my reviews, if you're in a, living in a very hot and humid condition you want to smell really heavenly you want to smell you want to smell iris you want to smell like citrus man this fragrance gets addictive more and more you smell it it becomes addictive okay this is better than low medial cologne in my humble opinion that is good this is great okay so this is people who have this to love it the iris pear i don't know there's like some peppery thing going on and the fragrance has some citruses and the most unique this even more is more unique i mean Full respect to Guerlain, but the price tag wise, can you imagine like three times more than this or the same 100 ml? No way. I'm going to get three bottles of it rather than over this. But yeah, I'm a collector. I'm not going to lie. If I could find a bottle, I would buy it. Okay. Loam Ideal Cologne number two by Guerlain. Number one is Givenchy Gentleman Cologne. Check out my review. And that's the list for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will sign out and do try these fragrances out. And let me know which ones are your favorite. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.